Howdy folks, this is Checkers, back again. Well, I guess this is kind of an update video. Um, I'm not entirely sure how it's going to go. I feel at the moment like I hit my head against something really, really hard. It's that weird kind of... Um, like after effect headache. And, um, it's, I, it's making me a little fuzzy, I think. But anyway, let's try and, and catch up. So I, I went to my doctor this week, and it wasn't the best visit. My doctor is awesome, but he was out of the office, and there was an intern who had taken over for him, and... After 12 years of this, you can feel the ones who are basically looking at you like, yeah, right, sure. As if I would make all of this up for some reason because I'm trying to pull the wool over their eyes. That always makes me... Laugh a little bit inside, cry a little bit inside, and just wonder what on earth broke these people to the point where they could believe such a thing. I mean, I know people do weird things, but if I'm doing this to pull the wool over somebody's eyes, the only one getting hurt by it is me. But anyway... Uh, so it wasn't my best doctor's visit. Uh, but hopefully, you know, usually I try and make appointments when my doctor will be there, but this one had to be rescheduled. He was going to be out of town completely, I guess, the day that I was supposed to go. So anyway, things went sideways a little bit. But in the end, I did get to talk to him for a little while by telepresence. And he seems more and more convinced that we are finally narrowing at least down to the right root of the problem, which is my autonomic nervous system, the, the sort of automatic system that kicks in to do things like before your brain can be consulted. So you burn your hand, you need to move your hand before your brain can think, I burned my hand that's your autonomic nervous system if I think I understand properly which would make sense in some ways because I also have this thing thought it was in some sort of allergy to metal or plastic where every once in a while I just get like a burn or welt on from my shoulders down like on my arms sometimes on my legs and they go away really quickly once I see them but it's almost as if something had touched me and this automatic response system, the autonomic nervous system, said, oh wow, something weird happened here, send the defensive forces and, you know, all the, the uh, emergency response systems within the body head to the spot and check it out. And then I notice it because it starts to burn or itch. And once I look at it, it takes about five or ten minutes to go away. So I really think we are finally getting to the right place. It still is going to be a bit of a challenge because that means now we've got to get different disciplines to play together nicely. And they don't, in my experience, do that very easily or often. What I mean is cardiology will deal with my heart, but my heart itself has always shown up as perfect which is a pretty good thing because I think it takes a terrible beating out of this I can feel it go crazy every so often and it turns out there's a little device um, it's like this little um, it's like a rectangle with two metal plates on it and it kind of does an EKG you can look at since I still haven't gotten any of the um, like the, the heart harness I was supposed to wear because I haven't seen cardiology yet, I got myself one of those. And again, thank you all for watching my videos because 
that is uh that is how I can afford to do that and um now I can literally see my heart go insane part of the problem with like the doctor's visit that I had in dealing with this intern is I to get to the doctor's office it takes a lot out of me it takes a lot out of uh, the way I think so for most of the trip and even while I'm there I think because it stresses me out to go to the doctor a long story maybe we'll talk about that sometime but um suffice it to say there isn't a whole lot of oxygen that's been going to my brain for a fairly long time it takes to get there and so one day I guess I should try and do a video where I speak relatively normally and then say row for a minute minute and a half and you would be able I think you would find it almost difficult to recognize me or at least you might think that I was under the influence of something which I'm not ever but anyway uh, so as the intern is making assumptions based on what she sees and her experience I can't really respond like I would normally my mind isn't quick it takes me minutes to respond to a question if I can and it's actually painful to do um, so it uh, it's one of the other reasons it went a little sideways so what does all of it mean well in the end I uh, I do get to do my MRA the it's like an MRI but specifically for the blood vessels and it's going to be of my brain and neck and also an x-ray of my neck which is um, I have full movement but something the, the, the discs are degenerating and I think I've been injured a lot of times over the years I think something isn't quite right um, not only does it hurt incredibly bad it's it gets fluid between the disc sometimes and when it swells that is an adventure in pain imagine having the worst ice cream headache you've ever had that doesn't go away and at the same time someone has hit you in the back of the head as hard as they could with a two by four and you begin to get what that feels like and uh I've been hospitalized for it. The first time I even went through it, I was um, in the emergency room. That's a funny story, too. Uh, but a funny story for another time. Maybe remind me. I can't remember all the stories I've told and all the stories I can't. And, and my head hurts now, so I'm, I, I'm having a hard time focusing on what I've said and, and um, where I was going with all of this I think in the end um, I'm doing the test the um, the MRA and then after that I take the test to I don't remember which comes first neurology or cardiology but I do get to go to both and uh, yeah we'll see we'll see where it goes i'm i'm still i'm um i still feel like i'm going downhill but i think i'm coming to better grips with it like the last time i think we talked about this i was still really really scared now you know it doesn't thrill me but I understand, you know, I don't feel like I'm falling over a cliff just yet. I just feel like I'm getting closer to the edge. But I feel like maybe I can, you know, now that I know, I don't know, it doesn't quite scare me as much. And I can't really 
part of it is I can't be scared. I can't allow myself to be scared because it raises my heart rate, which causes everything to go the opposite direction. And then I start losing blood to my brain. So why do I stay so calm when I play games? Because I don't really have any other choice. Um, but master, I follow you, master. We go. We will build the Franken power armor. Master, wait for Igor. I come. I come. Good evening, Master. Would you like me to pull your ponytail? No? Okay, I will wait here then. Okay, I'm just... Just gonna... Y'all... Oh, that was me. Sorry about your sandbags. You kids have fun. All right. Um, I don't know that I uh, have anything cool or fun for this week. We're just kind of here with our um, update. But uh, I really want to thank you guys for watching and for all your kind words and support. They really do mean a lot. I mean, really, more than I can say. Um, it would be easier to say if somebody wasn't trying to, you know, mine for gold in the side of my head, but, um, but I do really appreciate it, and, uh, I, I may dig through my, my, um, I have videos made that were intended to go up, it's hard it's a little hard for me to focus lately, um, but I think maybe I can dig something up, at least maybe for another video. Because, and I'm not saying this is anybody's fault, the channel is diminishing. I think it's because I'm not uploading, but uh, I think I should maybe try and get one of those other videos up maybe it will um help youtube know that i'm still here i think it's not that you guys aren't watching or doing things it's that youtube doesn't see me uploading so it's letting me slip down but anyway so who knows what's coming we're kind of in wild card territory uh and i don't know when i'm going to um be able to make something new but I really want to I just need to to not um, to be able to think more clearly all right um, I think I've rambled weirdly enough I hope it's not too strange but anyway thank you guys thank you so much for everything and for giving me the chance to make a, a difference you know, you really did. Between the smartwatch and the little EKG rectangle thing, I feel like I'm I'm coming to my doctors now with information in hand, and it's made more difference in the last couple of months than pretty much anything in the last 12 years. The, the watch was the key. Being able to show that when I exercise, my heart rate dropped like a stone, like 100 beats per minute, changed everything that was the 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 thing that let the doctors go oh wow this really is wrong this is even the intern because finally at the very end of my last visit with the intern i i remembered she had stepped away to go consult with the doctor and i said look you know when she came back my when I exercise, when I use my rowing machine my heart rate may start out at like 130 but then it drops to like 50 and it will stay down until I stop rowing when it jumps up to like 150. And she's like, oh wow, that's the opposite of what's supposed to be happening. I was like, yeah, I know, that's, that's the point. But anyway, so eventually the oxygen does get back to my brain. But like over the year before this, I would usually become myself before the appointment was over and this last time I wasn't okay until I was in the car on the way home so it's changing not necessarily for the best way but I do feel like I'm you know going in the right direction and and am sort of 
you know, my doctors are going with me. Not all of them intentionally, but at least the, the one that really matters, the my great awesome general practitioner, he is he is really he's a great guy and he's trying really hard. And I really mean that. He is trying so hard and I love him for it. He's an awesome dude. Alrighty. Before I get extra sentimental and sad, I would like to say thank you for watching. I hope you found, well, the video at least as chaotic and strange as I did. And um, I don't really have anything witty to say. I just want to ask you guys to please, please take care. And no matter what you have, appreciate what you have because... It, um, it's, it's good to appreciate. Thank you guys. Take care.